in our next question we have a surface whose equation is 4x square plus y square plus z is equal to 0 and we have to find a unit tangent vector on this surface at the point 1 comma 2 comma minus 8 so to compute a unit tangent vector on the surface firstly we will compute unit normal vector on this surface at the given point so let us consider the equation of surface is equal to in fact is equal is given by phi is equal to 4x square plus y square plus z and compute its gradient then grade of phi is equal to 8xi plus 2yj plus k and compute the value of grade phi at the point 1 comma 2 comma minus 8 then we have a vector 8i plus 4j plus k and now compute its unit vector so unit vector is given by the vector divided by its magnitude so here we have n cap is equal to 8i plus 4j plus k divided by 9 now we know grade of a surface at some point it is always represent a normal vector on the surface at that point so here n cap be the normal vector on the given surface at the point 1 comma 2 comma minus 8 now if a cap be a unit tangent vector at the given point then n cap and a cap going to be perpendicular that is the angle between these two vectors is 90 that is their dot product going to be 0 now by option check we easily find out that vector n cap so when we check option then option a will give us and cap dot a cap is equal to 0 that is option A is correct. our next question is of MSQ type here we have each the subset of R defined by like that and we have to show whether he is connected he is open he is compact and boundary set of R minus E is closed or not like that so here E has element of the form sin square x minus sin x plus 1 where x can be any real number so firstly we will compute set E then we will talk about the uh, we will talk about the uh, connectedness, compactness, closeness, openness of E so if we consider a function which is defined from set of real number to a subset of R and defined by like f of x is equal to sin square x minus sin x plus 1 then run set of this function is equal to e so basically we will find the range of this function so let y is equal to sin square x minus sin x plus 1 so we can write this equation as sin square x minus sin x plus 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 and that will be equal to sin x minus 1 by 2 to the whole square plus 3 by 4 now we know sin x lies between minus 1 to 1 for all x in r now add minus 1 by 2 in this inequality then we have minus 3 by 2 is less than equal to sin x minus 1 by 2 less than and equal to 1 by 2 now if we take the square on this inequality then we have 0 is less than and equal to sin x minus 1 by 2 to the whole square is less than and equal to 9 by 4 now add 3 by 4 in this inequality then we have 3 by 4 is less than equal to sin x minus 1 by 2 to the whole square plus 3 by 4 less than and equal to 3 that is our y lies between 3 by 4 and 3 that is our set e is equal to close interval 3 by 4 comma 3 since e be an interval and we know every interval be a connected set that's why e is connected now here E is closed and bounded so E is compact but E is not open since here 3 by 4 and 3 are the points of E but these are not the interior point of set E that's why E is not open. Now we will consider the set R minus E so that will be equal to open interval minus infinity to 3 by 4 union open interval 3 to infinity so here boundary point of this set are only 3 by 4 and 3 
so the set r minus e has finite number of boundary points and we know every finite set is closed that's why this set is closed so here option a b and d are correct our next question is of energy type here we have s and t are two linear transformation s is the map from r3 to r4 and t is the map from r4 to r3 we also have a composite map t of s that be a map from r3 to r3 and it is given this map is identity map and we know every identity map be a bijective map so here t of s be a bijective map that is 1 1 and on 2 we also know if some composite map t of s is 1 1 and on 2 then s map is always 1 2 1 and t map is always on 2 so here s is 1 2 1 map that means kernel of s has only zero element that is nullity of s is equal to zero now by rank nullity theorem we know dimension of some domain space is equal to dimension of rank space plus dimension of null space that is if s is the map from r3 to r4 then dimension of r3 is equal to rank of s plus nullity of s <laughs> Now here dimension of R3 is 3 and nullity of S is equal to 0. So that will imply rank of S is equal to 3. That is M is equal to 3. Now T is on 2. So that will imply rank space of T is equal to codomain space of T that is R3. That is dimension of rank space of 3 sorry dimension of rank space of t is equal to dimension of r3 that is 3 so rank of t is equal to 3 now again by rank nullity theorem nullity of t is equal to 1 that is n equal to 1 so m minus n that is 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so here 2 is our answer question number 42 Find the largest order of the permutation in a symmetric group S9. And the answer is 20. The order of the permutation is the LCM of the disjoint triangles. So the order of the permutation which has the largest order is equal to the LCM of 4,5. That means 20. So the 20 is the largest order in a symmetric group S9. 